Hey, how you doing today? I am Tequila Coleman. In today's video, we're going to talk about divine separation and God's covenant. So in the past, I have made videos in the past where we talked about divine separation, you know, and I have said things such as the purpose of the divine separation. It is for the God ordained believing spouse protection. Um, and that is correct. However, OK, I want to share I want to share this, this new information God has um, revealed to me, because the real reason why divine separation happen between God ordained believing spouse and between your prodigal is because your prodigal action has communicated to the Lord that they have now come out of covenant or agreement with the Lord and are now in covenant with Satan. So when God begins to speak to your God ordained prodigal spouse about who you are, and when they get the revelation that you are their wife, you are their husband, but yet they keep on suppressing the truth because this is, this is why God's wrath come upon um, prodigal. They keep suppressing the truth, right? And exchanging it for what they want, their will, right? So when they continue to uh, suppress the truth, continue to hear God speak to them and tell them that that's your wife, that's your husband, you know, lead this counterfeit and go to your spouse. And they choose to continue to stay with these counterfeits, right? They are in disobedience, right? And um, and then other things could be taking place as well. They, you know, prodigal, they are off in that prodigal lifestyle. So the more they continue to fornicate, you know, they drinking, they partying, they mocking God, moving God, they're doing things that's moving God to anger. All of these things are communicating because covenant, one of the ways how we form covenants is in our action, our deeds, right? So Prodigals not knowing, not aware that their actions stand with the counterfeit, stand in that prodigal lifestyle, you know, drinking, fornicating, mocking God, just, you know, wilding out, right? Just living how they want to live, not understanding your actions is communicating to God. You, ha you have rejected his covenant and you are now in covenant with the demonic, with Satan. And so God creates a divine separation because in order to get God's blessing, the God ordained marriage, you got to be in covenant with your heavenly father. So you can't get what's in God's hand and you still serving the devil. It don't work that way. So God comes in and creates a divine separation because of covenant. Okay. The God ordained believing spouse, you are in covenant with your heavenly father. And so God will protect you. Right. In God's instruction, is the, that, that's where the protection is at. When we are obedient to God's instruction, we find protection from the enemy. It's when we are disobedient to God's instruction, when we open ourselves up to the attacks of the enemy, okay? And so here's the thing. Like I was saying, God is after covenant. You know, God honors covenant, whether they're good or bad. He respects them, right? And... And so he creates this divine separation between the believer spouse and your prodigal spouse because your prodigal in their action and in their word, because you could create covenants with your mouth, with the vows, with the words you are speaking, in your prodigal's action and words, it has communicated to God that they are no longer in covenant with God and they are now in covenant with Satan, with the kingdom of darkness. And so God comes in and say divine separation. Now, for the believing spouse, like I was saying, when God steps in and, and create this divine separation, he then gives you instructions. He's giving you instruction on how to operate from here. And he's looking to see, will you be obedient? Before he gives you the blessings, he's looking to see, are you going to be obedient? Obedience is better than sacrifice, right? So in God's uh, instruction, when we are obedient to the instructions of the Lord, we prosper. We go to that next level, right? God began to bless us. You know, he began to pour out blessings for our obedience. But when we reject God's instruction, when we think we know, you know, we, you know, what we thinking is better than God, you know, like I know, I know what I need to be. I know what I need to be doing. You know, I got to get my spouse in order. When we, okay, become prideful 
and reject God's instruction and, and take things in our own hands, this is where you find heartbreak. This is where you find yourself doubting God, doubting what God said. You ready to give up. You operate in unbelief. So you just open the door to the enemy and now you just allow the enemy back in to attack you. Okay. Disobedience gives the enemy permission to attack you and attack your life with witchcraft. Okay. Understand that. So first is covenant. God is looking for us to get in covenant with the Lord. Once we are in covenant with God, he gives us instruction. In the instruction, when we are obedient to the instruction, we find protection. As you continue to be obedient to God's instruction, then he gives you blessings. Okay. This is how this process works. He began to pour out his blessings. You begin to elevate. He tells you, I will make you the head and not the tail, above and not beneath. He said, you will lend to many nations and borrow from none. You will always be at the top, never at the bottom. When you are obedient to God's instruction, he make your enemies your footstool. Okay? Your enemies that are coming up against you will be defeated before you. Okay? They will come for you in one direction, but scatter in all these other directions. Okay? So... This is what God is after. This is what divine separation means. It means, you know, when, he, when God created that divine separation between you and your prodigal spouse, your prodigal just broke covenant with God. So God steps in and creates a divine separation, okay? Until your prodigal get back in right standing or get back in covenant with their heavenly father. And this is usually done, um, Majority of the time up under God's wrath. Okay. So that is it. I wanted to share that information with you all. I am Tequila Coleman. I'll talk to you all real soon. Take care.